one of the questions I get is where should I live in Texas? It's so vast, where's the best place to go? Today we're going to talk about some of the things that if you're moving to Texas that you should know about. My name is Tammy Carlson. I live in the Flower Mound area. I service all of the North Texas area and today we're going to talk about just that. When you're looking to move to Texas, we have a little bit of everything. If you want to have the ocean nearby or if you want to have more land, more rural area and homestead, we have all of it for you, whether it's a condo or a family farm. All the way south to South Padre Island and all the way east to Galveston, there's a little bit of something for everybody. If you want to be a little bit more to the middle of Texas, but you still like that water, there's a ton of beautiful lakes. Here in the North Texas area, we have about 10 worth mentioning. Let's first talk about schools. Schools is a huge topic with families who are moving to the area. I have people who don't even have kids yet who are interested in the schools before they even move into the neighborhood. Texas ranks number 35 in all the 50 states. It's not too good, but it's also not the worst. I highly recommend you do your research on the schools. You can go to greatschools.org and you can plug in the name of the city or the independent school district and they can tell you everything you need to know down to the demographics of the school. Another great idea is if you already have an area and a neighborhood identified that you want to move in but you're not quite sure which elementary school for instance because there's so many elementary schools if you're not quite sure what school that falls into you can call the school directly or you can call the independent school district main phone number and they can tell you exactly. So number two, the weather. This is a big one. There's a saying here that if you don't like the weather, give it a little bit. It's not uncommon to see all four seasons in one day. Texas does have four seasons on the northern part of the state. From Austin down south and the further east or the further west you get, the changes are a little bit more subtle. In the north Texas area, you will see all four seasons. We don't necessarily get tons of snow like we used to in the years past, but you should see a little bit of brushing of snow, definitely sleet and ice storms. However, our cold season does typically start around February when we're used to seeing November, December, January. It's not necessarily cold and I highly doubt you'll see any snow or ice in those months. We all remember in 2021 when Texas was left without power for seven to 10 days. It got so cold here and the wet temperature dropped so fast that nobody was prepared for how bad it actually was. The power systems actually froze and you could see airplanes were out there de-icing them. While that is not normal, you probably will see some ice storms. So don't dump those snow bibs because whether you're in the city and you happen to have kids, they're gonna wanna go outside. And if you're in the more rural area, you'll want those to go outside and take care of the livestock. If you're somebody who really enjoys being outside, but you're more of a spring fall type of person, I encourage you to jump on it right away because those two seasons are very short. Summers here are brutal. The further south and the further east you get, the more humid it becomes and the hotter it becomes. In the spring and summer, we have beautiful lightning and thunderstorms. I love a good thunderstorm here in the Texas area. For those of you worried about tornadoes, I will tell you that I moved to Texas from the Oklahoma area. In all my years, I've seen one tornado. It was not, I didn't even know it was a tornado. It was, I was looking in my back window thinking, wow, it's really windy outside. And I didn't realize until the next day. And I saw all the down trees in the neighborhood and in my own front yard that it was actually a tornado that went through. I'm not saying that you won't see a tornado. I'm just giving you my experience. If you're somebody who suffers from seasonal allergies, Texas may not be your friend. We have so much pollen here. It'll cover your car and it'll cover your pool. Your eyes will burn, your nose will get stuffy. Whatever your symptoms are, you're gonna feel them full effect. However, you can go to your local news station and there's an app for pollen.com and you can find out what allergens are in the air that day and plan accordingly. Allergies don't hold us back after a little while. We have beautiful wildflowers and blue bonnets that grow here. So blue bonnet is the state flower. However, it is a weed, but they are so pretty and they smell so beautiful. There's always those photo opportunities and it's not uncommon to see people parked on the side of the road taking pictures in the blue bonnets or wildflowers. 
taxes. So this is a hard subject for the Texans who have been here for a while because they have increased so much over the years. However, you do have your homestead and if you're over this age 65, you will have a senior exemption as well. But we don't have any state tax, so it offsets the property taxes a little bit. So it's not such a big hit. Something you wanna look for if taxes is a big bill for you is that some areas, mostly newer, but you will find them in some areas that are trying to improve. We have MUS, which is a municipal utility district. You'll find that we have some PIS, which stands for Public Improvement District, and even TIFs. TIF is not as big as the MUDs and the PIDs. You hardly ever will see those. However, that does stand for tax increment financing. So those taxes will be added to your property tax bill at the end of the year. Again, this is where a great real estate agent will come in handy because they will be knowledgeable about the areas that you're looking for and tell you if those are on there and know how to find them. And lastly, sports here in Texas. Sports in Texas are very popular, whether you're an adult or you're a small child. We take the sports very seriously. Football is a major one that we take seriously. There are people who put their kids in sports especially football, as young as two and three years old. The sooner they get in, the more likely they'll be able to play on a good position in high school, and they really take advantage of that. I am one who didn't get the memo, and I put my kids in around age five, and they were completely lost. It's also not uncommon for families to completely move to a different school district just for the sports. High school football around here is just as popular as college and pro ball. There's even tailgate parties. And if you're in the area during the state fair, there's always the Cotton Bowl. During the time of the state fair, a big game we call the Red River Shootout is between OU and Texas. It is held at the Cotton Bowl and it is the biggest event of the year. People come from all over to hang out at the state fair and go to this football game. The streets are busy, the hotels are busy, the restaurants are busy. It's great fun. So hunting and fishing in Texas. So whether you're on the ocean and you're renting a boat or you have a boat and you're going deep sea fishing or you're taking advantage of one of the beautiful lakes that we have here to go bass fishing, this is a sport that everybody loves to do around here. If you're fishing or if you're hunting for deer, turkey, duck, whatever it is, there is something for everybody. We even have land here that people own and they lease it out for people to go hunting. So that's it for number five in sports in Texas. Again, no matter where you're looking in Texas, give me a call. I'll connect you with a great real estate agent in the area that you're interested in. They can tell you more about the area, show you around. And if you're ever in the North Texas area, I would personally love to show you around. I'd love to show you some houses and tell you about the areas all in the North Texas Metroplex. Music